your system when you're behind the wheel. Yeah, those are some of the questions lawmakers are grappling with as the need for more police officers trained to become drug recognition experts grows. News Channel's Bert Mummel reports on the debate over how to test people. Bert. Mark, should there be a field test where you touch your nose, walk a straight line, or should there be a device that measures the concentration of marijuana in your system, just like there is for alcohol? And there's no way. It happened 23 years ago this weekend. That's when Chris Birch's life changed forever. This could happen to you. It doesn't matter who you are. This can happen to anybody. Rear-ended by a drunk driver, he suffered an injury to his brainstem with devastating consequences, including on his life as an elite athlete. I really love running again. How many marathons? Uh, 35. 35? How many? How many triathlons? Uh, Over 40. 40. Never one to quit, he turned his tragedy into a lesson, speaking to thousands over the years about the dangers of impaired driving. And his drive hasn't diminished. You know, it would be nice if, um, if they come up with a uh, fingerprint, a fingerprint blood test. He's talking about testing for marijuana. Now that the state is awash in medical cannabis, last year a bill was introduced to try and make testing for drugs the same as testing for alcohol, having a specific limit like 0.08. The bill failed. If we're going to arbitrarily set a number when it comes to, to marijuana consum consumption, what happens with all the other controlled substances, whether or not we would have to go through for each of those substances and also create an arbitrary number for those as well. Senator Michael Brooks requested a study for best practices for DUI testing for medical marijuana and other drugs. The findings? That training officers to be drug recognition experts is the way to go. It seems strange, but it seems like that currently is the state-of-the-art way to be able to resolve these issues, as opposed to, to setting an arbitrary limit where some people might be impaired at that, at that limit and other people may not be impaired at all. My question is, what's the limit for marijuana? For Pam and Chris, though, a specific test equivalent to 0.08 for alcohol is the way to go, with their concern for public safety growing as fast as the customer base for marijuana in Oklahoma. It's just going to in increase the DUIs. As for the driver that hit Chris, the Birches say he had a combination of drugs in his system, including hydrocodone, alcohol, and marijuana. Bert Mumla, News Channel 8.